Hey everybody, it's Lance the Lush, and today we're looking at the Kendrick Brewing Company's Hodad IPA. Now, Lush fans, I decided to stop at a different store today, and I'm glad I did because this one actually caught my interest. Now, they're located in Columbus, Ohio. Now, I went to go do research on this. I will say this. Their official webpage is thin on details. It's saying where they're at, what they do, and that's it. Now, they're actually located in um, Guiana, Ohio, which is a suburb of Columbus. Now, the people, like the store I went to, the people that I talked to, the employees, said it's really, really good. And I actually picked up the last two of them. So, we're going to find out right now. Now, for the record, it is 7.5% alcohol by volume, and the IBUs are 80. Now, Lush fans also, on, directly on the back of the can, it says, Surf's up, but you can relax and enjoy the sights with the Swell Dry Hopped IPA, perfect for when you'd rather to sit out this one. That's all it says. Now, I would, at, out of curiosity, I started looking ar around for reviews. Now, far I've seen so far, there are exactly zero reviews on this. I don't know if this is brand new, anybody's ever seen it. I even cheated with on um, Beer Advocate and Rape Beer. They didn't have jack squat on it. So this is the first one out of the gate review. Now, if there was a YouTube review, please list it somewhere in the comments. And I will actually retract what I said in the description. But as of this taping, this is the first review ever of it out there. Now, being a dry hop IPA, I kind of got an idea where this is going. Now, the first thing I do see, there is some smoke on this. Not a lot of smoke, but smoke nonetheless. And it would away immediately. Now, go for the pour. It's definitely pouring like a dry IPA. And I fill it up here. And I poured it right this time, Lush fans. Even though I didn't get enough of it in the glass, the first thing I do, do see, it's very clean. I can see straight through to my camera. Um, it's giving me a nice white head, uh, two fingers, but it's um, depreci depreciating, or appreciating, I can never say that word. Fill up a little bit more, I get a little bit more in there. There we go. There's the entire can, I put it back out here on the screen, just for you. Now I go for the smell. There's is definitely citrus in there. Now, um... Being a dry hopped IPA, I already expected that. There's going to have some citrus, and it's definitely grapefruit, so everybody knows. Probably give you that dry, clean taste. But I am excited for this one, and that head whip away immediately. And I am getting a little bit of carbonation, but I should be okay because it's a can. So let's thank the breweries, the, the good folks, excuse me, at Kinder Brewing out Guiana, Ohio. So, cheers. That's definitely dry hopped up. All right. Now, they're definitely going West Coast style IPA with this. And I kind of wish on their official webpage that there was a little bit more information to go on. That's the style I think they're going. It's not quite a double IPA. I'm pretty sure this was not the intent with this one. But you can definitely can tell. Um, now as far as hops, it's going to be your typical hops for an IPA. Now I would like to know the process they went through to come up with this. I'm not saying that it's bad because it's not. But maybe because, let me look on the can just because. Okay, we got a, say Hans Back or Bach, 25907. So, I'm assuming this was produced on September the 25th of this year. So you're about a few weeks old there. I mean, as I take this, day's the 13th. So look, let's call it. Three weeks, three and a half, four weeks. Well, not necessarily a month, about three weeks or so. So it's definitely fresh.
and it's definitely clean. Um, it definitely has that backdoor IPA hop to it, so it's not in that in-your-face style of hop. Now, would I um, would Lush recommend this? Yes and no. Yes, I would recommend it, but this is definitely a summertime beverage. I mean, this is one of those outdoors where it's nice and hot and humid outside, where this can be really enjoyed or at their tap room. Because I bet it's really, really, really good at their tap room. Not necessarily in a can. Even though I do plan on going down to Columbus here real soon, probably in the January. That's my that's my game plan. So Lush fans, you're watching this. You might be seeing some remotes down there. But we'll see. A little sneak peek there. Um, I got a little off topic. How many chocoboos I'm gonna give this? I'm gonna give a solid four chocoboos on this. But I kinda wish I had this earlier in the year when it was hot, even though it really hasn't been hot here where I live at this year like it normally is. But I really, really, really would like to try it just to see how it is. But I'm going with my solid four. And if I see it again here in the next few months, I will reassess. Well, Lush fans, I'm gonna get off here. This is the, and I hope I'm getting this right, there's a couple Kenderts out there. The Kendrick Brewing Companies of Guiana's, Ohio's. This is their Hodad. And stay tuned for the next edition of Lance the Lush.